Welcome to the video on how to upload your videos to Picasa, how to use Picasa, and I'm also going to touch a little bit on how to um, download your photos from a memory card or also from a um, phone, like an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy or something like that as well too. First off, um, just a little bit of a disclaimer here. This video really only covers the Mac computers in terms of how to upload photos from a memory card. So if you're in room 212 and you're using the PCs, we may have to work individually one-on-one -on, -one on that. But Picasa is going to be universal. So here is the um, website here that you are familiar with. If you go up here to the how-to guides and just kind of hover over that, you'll see two things. We're going to focus on how to use Picasa first, so let's go ahead and click on that. So, on this page, how to use Picasa, the first step is to actually go to the Picasa homepage. So what you'll do here is you'll just kind of click this, and this is the page that you should see. For Picasa, you have to use, and this is a requirement for the class, you have to use your harrisonvilleschools.org email and Google account. If you do not have that information, let me know right away and we can look that information up. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and sign in here. I'm going to go ahead and just click sign in. And this is what Picasa's homepage looks like. Now, mine's going to look a little bit different because as you can see here, I have a lot of albums here in Picasa. These are my albums up here at the top, and you can see my recent albums. I can also click on View All if I want to to check those out. Down here at the bottom, these are featured photos that people all over the web have uploaded to Google that people can just kind of see universally. Feel free at any time to kind of browse through those anytime you'd like to, okay? So that's step number one. Again, on the how-to page, if you're going step by step, you can also click on these examples and actually see the visual examples. This is from last year, so you'll notice that I actually don't have as many albums at that time in here as I did in now. Just click the back button to get back to this. All right, so how do you upload photos from Picasa? Well, let's go to Picasa, and what we need to do here is go to the upload button, and we'll just go ahead and click that. Now I'm going to get this upload area and I'm actually going to purposely kind of minimize my window a little bit because I want to open up my desktop and uh, let me get rid of this really quick. I'm going to open up my desktop here so you can just kind of see some of the stuff I have because in these folders I actually do have some photos and I also do have a memory card that I have put into the computer which is showing up right here. I also have my iPhone in here but that is not showing up yet. That's a different step we'll show in a second. Note one thing, and this is very important to pay attention to. See the album name right here? It always defaults to the current date. And when you turn in albums to me and share albums with me, it is vitally important that you change this. My requirement is you change the name of your album to the name of the project we're working on. Every project is going to have a name, something like depth, something like portrait, something into uh, that neighborhood, which will always be on the website. You need to change the name of that to this, all right? So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and put portrait in here. I'm pretty sure I spelled that right. Or the other thing that you can do too is you can also add to an existing album with this link right here. If I click this, a drop down menu now appears and I can click any of my current albums that I have to add photos into that. I'm going to go back to create a new album. It should still say portrait on it. There's two things you can do here. You can either select photos from your computer by clicking on this and then some sort of a download button will come to where you can navigate to where you need to go to find your photos. Then you can choose those photos. Like for example, I'm just going to use this one that looks really familiar and I'm going to go ahead and open it. You'll notice that it's uploading and there it is. There's the photo in this album. All right. The other thing that you can do is you can actually click and drag over, which is actually a really cool thing. All right. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and click the upload more button. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that because that drop down menu came up. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my memory card and I'm going to go to DCIM 100 Canon. And this is where all the photos are stored on the memory card. All right. So if you go there, this is where all of your photos are. So I'm just going to select these top four right here. Now watch what I do here. I'm going to click them and I'm going to drag them over. You notice how the window turned blue and I'm going to let them go. Look at that. Now they're uploading on their own. And you can see the bars of how they're uploading. This one will come up in just a second. We'll just go ahead and wait for that. And the photos start to appear. 
There you go. It's pretty much that simple. Okay. When you're done, go ahead and click the OK button. It will take me back to the main album, which is right here. You'll notice my photos, portrait, and then I can click on these and it will open up and I can use my arrows to go through my photos in here. Okay. Ooh, that one's a little blurry. Let's go back to the main page. I'm going to go to my photos. Here are all my albums and notice here's the new one, the portrait one that I just uploaded. Now, on this front page, I want you to pay attention to a couple things. Next to the number of photos in your album, you will see either a lock screen, you will see a um, globe, or you'll also just see, and let me see if I can find it because I know there's one in here. There it is. The one that just has a couple people. Let me tell you what this means. If you see a lock next to the number of photos, that means that your album is private only to you. You are the only person that can see it. If you see a globe, that means that it is limited. Anyone with a link can actually go and put photos into that and also see photos as well too. And then down here for the Storytelling 12.5, you'll notice that that means that it's limited. Only a certain number of people that I, as the album person or the album owner, can actually invite to come in and look at the photos or contribute photos as well too. Okay, so that's uploading photos, which you can kind of see here. And again, notice on these steps, you know, I'm, t I'm, I'm telling you to pay attention. This is where you need to pay attention. Don't use the date on the name of albums. You have to have the current name of the project, like depth, framing, free shot, etc. All right. Now, let's say that you forgot to rename your album and it happens to be the date. Well, what you can do here is with actions, you can click on this and you can have album properties and then here's where the title is you can actually change it so when you upload photos if you forget to change the date to the name of the album don't let that panic you you'll be able to go to this and you'll be able to change it right there as well too okay now how do you turn in photos to me there's a couple ways that you do that we're going to go back in here and you'll notice over here on the right side right here you'll see that it says shared with, you haven't shared this with anyone. There's a share button right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. This little window will pop up and what you'll need to do here is you will need to start typing my email address in and notice how it pops up. There it is right there. So all you have to do is click on it, go ahead and choose let people I share with contribute photos and then, and I'm not going to do it because I'm not gonna share it with myself, kick, click the blue share via email. And what that does is it sends me an email link that says, Joe Smith has shared an album with you. I can click on that link and I can go in and see your album. That way I can actually grade your photos, all right? Now, in order to put a specific photo or a highlight photo into a specific album, okay? Let's say that I'm gonna use this as my highlight photo. A little too much open space over here. Should be cropped a little bit tighter on Dr. Ryan and Mr. Campbell over here, but I'm digressing here. What you do here is you'll go to actions. You'll want to set as album cover, which means that now that I've done that, if I go back to the home screen, notice now it's my album cover. The um, front page of Nixon Resigns is no longer my album cover, all right? It usually always defaults to the first one in there, all right? So I'm gonna go back to my photo and I'm gonna go back to actions and I'm gonna do copy to another album or I apologize. Um, either copy to another album, you can also do, um, sorry, you can also do um, move to another album. Now I'm completely offset, oh, it moved it, or it copied it over, it copied it over, so kind of already messed that up, oh, there, there we go, okay, so go back to actions, and we can do move to another album, we can choose another album, a title, all right, and again, I can just kind of click continue, and it will move it over to another album that I choose or have access to, okay? So again, that's how you use Picasa. That's how you turn in photos. Now, for those of you who have phones that are on the Macs, notice that I double-clicked on my memory card here. What I can do different is I can use a program called Bridge. Now, I have it down on my dock. If you can't find Bridge, Bridge is a little kind of brown square with this yellow outline that says BR. If you click F4, Okay, here we go with our um, kind of shows what applications are on the computer. Just find Adobe Bridge. It should look like this and click it once. 
I'm not going to because it's already open. And this is what Bridge is going to look like. Now, let me show you something really quick. On the website, if you go back to the how-to guides, this is the how to upload and organize photos. All right, so what we do within Bridge is we're going to go to File, we're going to go to Get Photos from Camera. It's going to ask you if you want Photo Downloader to automatically launch whenever a camera card is connected. I'm going to go ahead and just choose No. It's your personal preference if you want to, but just keep in mind that for the login you're in, if you choose Yes, it's always going to do it for that student, no matter if it's you or somebody else. All right? So, now, your phone has to be unlocked, which I just did. You can't see it on my screen, but I just unlocked it. And I'm going to have to come back up here. Oh, there it is. It's probably Lewis's iPhone. Now it's connecting to the device. Now I went to get photos from and, and chose that and then went to Brad Lewis's iPhone. Okay, so here's all the photos that I have in my phone right here. All right, there's also um, some movies in here as well too that I've shot. Um, I have roughly about, oh, I don't know, but maybe about 100 photos in there. Maybe I don't want to upload all the photos. And I apologize, guys. Let me show you one thing. It's actually going to look like this first. What I did is if you, if you click on advanced dialog, it will actually open and show individually the photos you have. By default, everything is clicked. Well, if I don't want everything downloaded, what I can do is click uncheck all, everything gets unchecked, and then what I can do is I can just choose the photos from my memory card that I want. So let's say that I just want these, let's do these first six right here. Now, we have to pay attention over here because what Bridge does is it will download the photos and automatically organize them for us through a couple ways. And again, I'm just going to show you guys this real quick. If you go back to the website, I'm just kind of doing this step by step. You can just use this again as a guide or again, you can just kind of watch this video as well too. All right, so let's go back to Bridge. And I'm going to go back to my, um, I'm sorry, I'm, I need to go back to my uh, photo downloader window. There it is. Now, over here on the right side, here's the save options. First off, by default, it's going to put it in the pictures folder on the Mac. I would suggest you not do that, okay? I would suggest go to choose, and let's go ahead and just click desktop. We're going to go ahead and click open. Desktop is the fastest way to find something bar none. So that way you don't have to dig through 50 different folders trying to find something, okay? Under create subfolder, I would put custom name. And I'm going to change this to the name of the project that we're doing at the time, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just use the word portrait one more time. I'm going to come down here. Now, under rename files, by default, digital cameras always give files this name, img underscore 0936.jpg. People have no idea what that means, all right? So if you want to find your photos a little faster, I would go to rename files, click on this drop down, go to custom name again, change this, and I'm going to change it again to portrait. Now I'm really kind of um, subconscious about my spelling. Um, and then you see the plus number, I'm going to make sure that this is plus one. All right. So notice what it does here. You see the example now it's portrait underscore zero 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 one. So now I know that all those photos, if I have 300 photos in a folder, then I know they're all about the portrait and it starts with one and it will go from one all the way to zero three zero zero for 300. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click get media and notice it's only downloading those ones that I wanted. Now Bridge is going to open a new window that shows me my new photos. All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this to show you, this is my desktop. There it is, right down there. There's my portrait folder. If I double click on it, here are my portrait pictures. All right, so then what I can do is I can go into Picasa, and I'm just gonna show you guys this real quick. I'm gonna go back to portrait, and I'm going to go to upload, add to an existing album, portrait's already there. I'm gonna go back to my portrait here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, select all of these, drag them over and drop them. And there we go. Those photos are now uploading to Picasso. Pretty cool, huh, guys? I'm going to let that load. And there they all are. Now if I click Done, it takes me back to the album. 
Notice the photos from before are still there, and there's the brand new ones there as well too. Okay, notice over here too, shared with, haven't shared this with anybody. All right, so if I wanted to share this and turn this in, again, I'll click share. I'll put my email address in here. You would put mine, naturally. Let people I share with contribute photos, and then I'm gonna click share via email. All right, let me go ahead and, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm sure it's gonna be weird. Okay, and there you go. That is a simple way to use Picasa. And as always, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know.